Everyone who knows anything about sports knows who LeBron James is. He is easily one of the biggest athletes in the world and will be in the minds of many for decades to come. Just recently, a new innovation center was opened up in his name, but what does it have and what is it for? Well, stay tuned because we're about to go over the LeBron James Innovation Center and everything you need to know about it. So where is it? So the first big question for this video is, where is this innovation center located? The NBA is such a huge sport, so it needs a new space and a really important location for the sport and its players. This new innovation sits in Oregon and houses Nike's worldwide headquarters. This place is really amazing and the images don't do it justice. The place looks just heavenly at night and looks like something out of a futuristic movie. The placement of this center is really fitting for the staff who work there and of course the athletes that will use it on a daily basis. Oregon is an amazing place and somewhere these people will feel at home and somewhere they will feel safe. It also gives the place a little secluded atmosphere as it's not right in the middle of New York or Miami. It's in a nice place where the athletes can go and train for whatever they need. The place will house multiple divisions for different sports, so it's not going to have any wasted space inside the building, that's for sure. It looks like everyone involved loves this place and are more than happy to work there. But what about this important question? Just how big is this building? So how big is the Innovation Center exactly? The Innovation Center was designed to fully hold everything an athlete will need and everything Nike would want around them. It houses multiple different divisions, including a very integral research division that we will get into later. It houses the worldwide headquarters for Nike and everything around that. This means that it needs to be huge huge for all of this and obviously eventually more that will be added on. So this place is around 750,000 square feet. That's insane. Looking from the perspective of the sport research lab that the center holds, they have access to everything on the campus. They can see it all. The place is just humongous and it makes a lot of sense. This center has literally everything that you could ever want as an athlete or someone involved with them. Don't worry, we will get into that soon. While the size may seem a little too much for some, at the end of the day, these athletes are some of the biggest people in the world. They need a place to train to their highest potential. The LeBron James Innovation Center was truly designed to bring out the best in these athletes and with that large of a campus, it's no doubt going to achieve that goal. So what about the difference from the previous lab? Do you know what the cool thing about this new Innovation Center is? Well, it's the fact that it has a new Nike lab inside of it. This happens to be the first Nike research lab in over 40 years and it's where they have just moved to from their original location. The original lab was located in the Mia Hamm building in the Oregon campus and has been the main research location since 1999. With the introduction of this new LeBron James Innovation Center, they have finally moved to a bigger location. To put this into perspective, this move gives them around 10 times more size than they used to have. 10 times! That's such a huge increase for a research lab. This new lab just happens to promote the new research coming out of the advanced innovation team that is around 75 employees. Around 25 of those have doctorate degrees. It's safe to say that this new innovation center has some amazing people working inside of it, especially inside of this new research lab where some of the most important Nike work goes down. Around 2003, 13 was when they realized that these athletes needed some more space to run around for testing but didn't have the research to make it all happen. They paid attention and as it evolved they realized that everyone needed more space. This is what brought upon this new move and what is moving Nike in a new direction. What does the center include? So now that you know just how large this entire thing is and what this new advanced lab contains, what else does this new LeBron James Innovation Center hold? Well, it's going to be used for many different things so it's fully equipped for all of them. It now has 84 thousand square feet that is all fully equipped with calibrated gear to capture the athletes running around inside of it. This space has a full-size official NBA basketball court, a 200 meter fatigue track, a 100 meter track with two lanes of track and field surface, and even a land with concrete. It also has a regulated soccer field with artificial turf. This event continues outside the building as it houses a 500 foot long incline ramp. Each of these places are all configured with capturing gear so they can monitor each aspect of an athlete to gain data and help everyone out in the long run. It has everything Nike needs to improve their game and to make sure that the NBA runs smoothly. With all of this, they can create new shoe designs for specific people, they can design new clothing for athleisure, and make new strides in the world of athletic clothing for things like the NBA or just normal people. Stay tuned because we now have the biggest question being answered. What is it going to be used for? The coolest thing about this entire new center is that most of it is going to be used for more product creation and testing. But what sort of creation and testing? Well, to get into even more detail, there are around 800 124 pieces of testing equipment and around four chambers which allow the lab experts to test all sorts of things. They can test products, athletes, and many other things. It's great that they finally have such a large area for all of this important testing. Another huge part of it all is that they have a 600 employee large innovation group that allows them to test footwear, apparel, and many more designs for the future. While being interviewed about the new center, one of the Nike representatives said, one of the things this facility unlocks is the ability to see more diverse athletes in more diverse sports at full speed 
speeds in the ways they want to compete, train, and recover in ways we never have before. This just sounds really promising coming from someone inside of Nike. It looks like this center is going to be of some good use. And finally, we have, is it just for basketball? So when you think of LeBron James, what do you think about? The first thing most people would think about is the sport of basketball because that is what he's most known for. Obviously, he has done lots of things outside of that, but basketball is his main thing. The thing about this new LeBron James Innovation Center is that he is just the name of it. This place isn't just about basketball. Of course, the Innovation Center has lots of things based around basketball and the evolution of that sport from a marketing and apparel perspective, but so many other sports are being tested and played there. At the end of the day, it is a Nike Innovation Center with Nike Research headquarters all funded by the conglomerate that is Nike. Nike isn't just a basketball brand. They cover so many other sports that you can't even think of at the top of your head. Their apparel is worn by basically everyone who does any sort of sport, from golf to baseball to even gymnastics, Nike is literally everywhere. This center was designed to increase the productivity of all Nike departments and get the ball rolling once again. They will be testing everything for almost every sport in existence because that is their market. They want to create something any sports man or woman can use on a daily basis. At the heart, they may be based around LeBron James and his legacy, but this center was created for everything Nike wants to do right now and will do in the near future. And that's the end of the video. This new LeBron James Nike Innovation Center is looking great and should be bringing Nike even further into the future of athletics gear and marketing. They're going to be the kings of it all because their research has such an amazing base. They should be able to carry on creating some of the amazing pieces of clothing to help out these athletes in their sports and allow them to be the top of their game 24-7. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on. Thanks for watching. See you next time.